everyone, it's Miss Toys here. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to our next science lesson. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I want you to go ahead and close your eyes with me just for a second, okay? So here I am closing my eyes. And I want you to think about the last time that you were outside. Okay? How did the air feel like when you were outside? Go ahead and open your eyes. Now, did the air feel hot? Or did it feel cold? And I want to also ask you, what do you think makes the outdoor air warm or hot? the sun, you are right. The sun is what makes the outdoor air warm or hot. Even though we can't see air, we can feel how hot or cold it is. Temperature describes how hot or cold the air is. What are some words we might use to describe the temperature? Some words that you can use to describe the temperature can be chilly, cold, warm, cool, and hot. This is a thermometer. A thermometer is a tool to measure temperature. We can use this thermometer to measure the temperature of the air. A thermometer is also a system made of different parts that work together. We have the base, the stem, and the numbers. So here I have my giant garden thermometer here, for example. So let's focus on this red line here. So when the temperature drops or becomes cooler, the red line will go towards the bottom. So I can move it here and you'll see that the temperature has dropped. Now when the weather gets warmer or when the temperature gets hotter, the red line will go up or increase. So watch the red line go up higher. I have two cups of water here, one holding warm water and one holding cold water. So what do you predict will happen to the thermometer once I put it in my cold glass of water? Let's find out. So here I have my glass of cold water. I am showing you on my thermometer here the temperature of the room, which is a little under 80 degrees. So I am going to put it inside my cup of water. So what do you think? Is it going to go down or is it going to go up? After about a minute, I took out my thermometer to read it. The red line went down to about 72 degrees, meaning my temperature went lower. After letting my thermometer go back to room temperature, so a little bit above 80 degrees, I put my thermometer inside my warm water here. So I'm going to let it sit for about a minute. Do you predict that my red line will go higher or will it go lower? I took out my thermometer to read the red line and it showed that it read about 110 degrees, meaning it increased or went higher. Let's take a look at this picture of a thermometer here. So when the red line is down towards the dark blue area, that means the temperature is freezing cold. When the red line is in the lighter blue area, the temperature is cold. The green area is cool weather. The yellow area is warm, and when the red line is in the orange area, the weather is hot. Alright, it is now focus question time. So how can we measure the air temperature? I have my sentence frame here ready to go. So we use a, what did we use? 
the tool we used was a thermometer so I'm gonna write in the word thermometer to tell how hot or cold the air is awesome job now for my diagram or picture here, I have two thermometers and I'm going to show the red line for warm temperature and I'm going to color it in. And I'm also going to show the red line for cold. In comparison to warm, my cold is going to be lower, so I'm going to draw the line closer to the bottom and I'm going to fill that in as well. Next time you go outdoors, I want you to think about what areas are warmer or cooler than the others. What would be the difference between sitting on this bench underneath this big tree or standing out in the open in the grass? Alrighty friends, it was so much fun getting to hang out and talk a little bit about temperature today. I hope everybody has a awesome week. Until then, be safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.